everyone, I'm Gina and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Jumping right in, uh, here I'm working on a piece of packaging which I have already gessoed and thoroughly dried. And now I am starting to add some drops of acrylic paint. I'm working with acrylics today. And um, I've got red and blue and I'll use yellow and I think a little later on um, it's black and white. And just wait until you see what happens with these dots of paint. It's so fun. <laughs> um, oh, if you want a more descript uh, product list, make sure to check you know, in the description box below. And I'll make sure to identify the brand and the exact colors and um, everything I'm using today. So check below. This series, um, it's early AM art. And it started because I, I try to be creative every day and that can be really difficult when you are working a lot of hours. Oh, hold on, pause my story, look! Ah. <laughs> yes, rolling out dots of paint. Um, I've seen other people do this and it's just something that I wanted to try. Which is exactly what the Early AM Art series is about. Um, as I was saying, I like to try to be creative, do something every day. And when you do work long hours, when you glue commute, you're gone from you know, your home for 10 to 12 hours a day, it can be really hard to find time to be creative. <laughs> it's hard to find energy to be creative. Um, but I realized that I could find a little bit of time in the morning before I left for work. And um, that's usually... You know, I usually leave between 6, 6, 15, well, 10 after. So this is early in the morning, so. <laughs> or it could even be late at night. Sometimes weekends or whatever, you know, sleep them off. Um, sometimes I'll be up really late. Um, either way, I'm usually kind of on the tire so tired side and I'm not, you know, fully processing and functioning very well, <laughs> so, <laughs> which kind of adds to the fun see me struggle sometimes just trying to get my thoughts together and figure out what I'm what I'm doing sometimes my my body and mind connections aren't quite there so <laughs> it has a fun little element to it but I've been doing this for a long time and once I started my channel I thought it would be kind of cool to record them just to record these sessions and just to, to show people you know it, it doesn't have to be perfect just find any kind of time and just try to do something creative, exercise that creative muscle. And it's a great opportunity to, to try something new. A lot of times um, I'll, get a new pro I'll get a new product and I want to try it. And I'll go ahead and just take out a piece of packaging like what I'm using here or some other piece of, just a piece of cardboard. Just, you know, something relatively sturdy that just kind of just try it out and just to see how it performs and figure out different things ways to utilize it so anytime I get paints or inks or modeling paste or um, just anything really I always want to test it out just to see how it works like as you can see I was using the roller and so you can roll it smoothly and it makes it smooth but if you stop it gives you all those cool little lines there. Now, as you can see, I'm using one of those little, I don't know, was it a, a barbecue spreader? And, you know, all the little wiggly ends. Look, it's great for adding little dots. So, I might um, spend more time actually using that in a, on a different one. I just kind of wanted to check it out and just to see. But um, I get rid of it in, in a few minutes. So I, I thought, you know what? I want to do more experimenting with this, and it can be its own. Um, it, it could be its own episode. So, <laughs> but it's it's just uh, something that I really enjoy uh, taking a few minutes just to kind of play around, be creative, think of different ways of using a tool or a supply that you've got. There are so many cool things you can make and ways to use the products that aren't that don't just follow the instructions on the label 
and that's how we come up with new cool ideas, right? <laughs> you have to try. And that's part of what this series is about. So I really enjoy these um, quick creative times and I hope it's something that you all enjoy watching. My goal is to show that you know you don't need hours on end to, to be creative. You can take 15, 20 minutes and just just do something. You'll be surprised at how well it comes out. Like I said, they're not all winners, <laughs> but there have been some pretty cool end results. And the end results aren't really aren't supposed to be a completed, finished piece. No, it's, it's unlikely it's going to be that. So it's just in the allotment of time that I have at that moment, just kind of messing around with supplies that I've got or that I want to try out. Or, uh, the new technique I've seen that I'd, I'd like to try uh, like this one with the roller I saw someone else do that and I wanted to kind of give it a try and, and you know see what I could get the paint to do how I could get it to move around and and that's it and it could be used for a background or in another project but or it could just be hey now I know what happens when I use this roller over dots of paint and maybe there'll be another project I'm working on I'll remember this I'm like man that's exactly how I want to start this pro project this is what the background you know this is the kind of technique I want to use to get my background for what I have in mind so like I said I really enjoy it I hope you all find it fun and interesting and uh, I encourage you to to get out your art supplies it doesn't have to be anything expensive if you, if you have kids, get out their art supplies and play around. <laughs> you might just find that you really enjoy it and you can create something that's just beautiful and um, an expression of you and it's a great outlet. So there you go. And that's it for this one. Ta-da! <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, if you've not subscribed, please click that little button red subscribe button in the bottom corner I would really appreciate that I really appreciate any support for my channel and um, hit the like button if you like the early AM art series <laughs> and leave me a comment this I believe is the first time I've done a voiceover for one of these so let me know if you like that or if you're just cool with the music you all have a great day and go play with your art supplies bye